Hey, what's up? Simon Bennett here from Dazlight and welcome to another exciting video tutorial where we're going to be looking at standalone control. So, all Dazlight devices come with a certain amount of standalone memory. Now, standalone memory is a little bit of memory inside the controller, either flash memory or actual SD card memory in the back and this allows you to store scenes that you've made in Dazlight inside the controller to be used without a computer. Now this is great if you wanted to say have a backup so if you had any computer problems you could close Dazlight and your lights will play the scenes inside the backup memory until you've had chance to reboot Dazlight or this is also useful for standalone installations so you know maybe uh, you're doing a smaller event and you don't want to take a laptop with you and you just want to load some basic preloaded uh, scenes inside the controller perhaps you've just got some static colors and some simple color changing scenes that you don't need the computer for um, you can basically just power one of these devices with a 5 volt USB power adapter and then run that without a computer so let's get stuck in I've got a demo show over here just with some um, effects that we used in early earlier tutorials um, what we need to do first is just make sure we have the device detected you can see here it's in PC mode so everything's fine but just to show you, if I load up the devices window, we got a DVC4 gold here. And we've just got one universe we're using in port 1. It's a gold ZM we have here. So I'm going to hit OK. So what you need to do first is to build your show as you would, as if you were using it live. And then what you need to do is go up to Tools and Standalone. So the standalone window is quite easy to use. You've basically got all the scenes and groups in your show on the left. And then on the right, you have your standalone device. Now, if you've got more than one device connected, you need to select the device from the box at the top here. And this particular device supports multi-zone. That means that you can put scenes in different zones and you can play one scene at a time per zone. So this particular device has five zones or five pages, which means that you can play up to five scenes at the same time. So imagine you have some different lights in different places in the room. You can put those into different groups and then you can drag scenes onto the various pages and control each group of lights independently. For now, I'm just going to use one page. So basically, to add a scene from Dazlight to the controller, you just need to take the scene and drag, and then drop it in like this. So I've got all my beam controls on page one. In fact, I'm going to use page two as well, where I'm going to put my color effects. So I'm going to put my color effects in, like so. Once everything's been assigned, you, you've also got the option to set some properties. So I can right click here. So this is the, uh, the Knight Rider. I can remove it if I want to remove it from standalone. I can associate an image. Now this is only useful if you've got a controller with a screen. Uh, so for example, the D-pad gold has a little screen on it and you can actually choose an image to attach to the scene. And then that image will be shown on the screen when the scene is playing. You can also do a time trigger, so you could have a scene switch on at a certain time of the day or a certain day of the week. If I click here, I can enable the time trigger up here. I can choose a time. Or I can choose a repeated time, so this will repeatedly trigger a scene. So if I do from 12 o'clock to, let's say, so that's midday until let's say 7 p.m. This is going to re-trigger the scene between 12 o'clock and 7 o'clock every 10 minutes. So every 10 minutes it's going to be like clicking the scene button again. 
One important note I should make about the standalone control is that you always have to have a scene playing. You can't have a scene start at a certain time and then finish at a certain time. So this isn't going to play the scene between 12 and 7. What it's going to do is it's going to re-trigger the scene between the hours of 12 and seven. If you want to switch a scene off, then what you need to do is create an empty scene and then assign an appointed time trigger to that scene. So that's just an important uh, area where a lot of people go wrong sometimes. You've also got sunrise and sunset if your controller supports it. So you can trigger sunrise or sunset plus or minus a certain time. So for example, you could trigger your lights to come on at sunset plus one hour and at the bottom here by default it's going to happen every single day of the year you can have it just happen on one day of the year so let's say on January the 4th note that all our controllers have a yearly calendar therefore it will trigger on January the 4th every year you've also got the option to trigger on certain dates of the week down here Finally, you've got from until. So imagine you want to trigger a scene only during certain months of the year. You could say from March the 4th up until April the 15th. So this will trigger every single day between March the 4th and April the 15th. Once you've set all your time triggers, you're ready to actually write the memory. And to do that, you click this button here. It saves the show into the standalone memory of the device and whilst the show is being written you can see this little animation here and then it goes back to PC and you get this, this window here saying memory written successfully. You can also read from the device so basically as it's writing the memory it will save a backup DAS light show on the SD memory card and then you can read that back. This button allows you to test the show. So this will temporarily disconnect the device from Dazlight and it will put it in standalone mode. So if I click this test button, if we go over here, you see we've got A01, which will be our on scene. And then we can use these three buttons to scroll between the scenes. So this will go scene two, scene three, or we can go down, scene two, scene one. And this third button will change the page. So we're on page A. If I press here, it will go to page B. Scene 1, scene 2, which is rainbow. Scene 3, which is sparkles. And so on. And then when you want to connect your device back to Dazlight, we go over here and we click the stop button. The final icon here is clear memory. So this will clear the entire contents of the memory. When you make a new show and you click the right button, it will automatically overwrite all the contents of the memory. So there's no need to click this button before writing the memory. And that's basically everything we can do in standalone.